Well, today the city of St. Pete takes its first steps in planning for a future without the rays. The Tropicana field site is about to look a whole lot different. The now's Isabel Rosales has details on the plans now set in motion. The city was already planning to redevelop this area. They have the designs and they have the master plan with a new ballpark, but now they want to explore what else fits here should the rays leave. A unanimous vote by St. Pete City Council to allow an architecture firm to create designs for the redevelopment of the TROP site without a ballpark. And it's a lot of space, about 85 acres of land, including all the parking lots. The mayor tweeting, preparing the site for baseball and without baseball. St. Pete shines either way. This city leader envisions the area will look a lot like Research Triangle Park in North Carolina, a tech hub with university research jobs. It's sad, but it's also progress. And I think that's what needs to be done. One could argue that it works even better without the rays. And of course, that depends on the outcome. That depends on what's there in its place. The plans are expected to be made over the summer and released to the public by the end of September. Coming up at six, I'll tell you the two noteworthy institutions that have already expressed interest in being a part of the TROPS redevelopment. Reporting for the now, I'm Isabel Rosales.